In this video, we're going to be setting up database notifications in Filament PHP, along with setting up the ability to use something along the lines of a spotlight search inside our admin panel. So to get started with, we need to make a notifications table. So inside our code editor, we can just head in here and say, make notifications table. We need to migrate this. And with that sorted, we should just be able to say database notifications head into our aspect here and we just have a few issues here. So let's go ahead and see why this operator does not exist. So let's head into our files here inside database, migrations. And we're creating a notifications table here. So what it's complaining about is the notify about ID does not exist here. So we have um, a morphs table here. So let's go into a database, head into wire content. Inside here, we should find a notifications table. And we have a notifiable ID though. So let's see why it's complaining. So another thing we can go ahead and do is just go into filament PHP. In there we should be able to find database notifications. And again, for level 10, you need to use this one, but for level 11 and higher, you need to use this. So let's take a look at why this error is happening. So the issue is likely due to using Postgres SQL. So if you are a user of MySQL, you should not have this problem. So if you go ahead and say migrate rollback, if you're using Postgres, you may have to use JSON B for this to work. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks now. There we go. So now we have this notifications one here, which will provide us with database notifications. So in order to use this, we can essentially just head into um, Filament PHP again. So in here, you can see that we can essentially using the panel here, database notification. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. So for example, we could go ahead and say article resource. And I think in this case, you want this to be inside a panel function. So let's just go ahead and see here. We have the form, we have the table. So I think for this, we may have to, because we're using it outside of here, we may have to not do it because we're not actually using a panel. Specifically here, we're using a, a form, a table. I think upon creating, for example, we could potentially get this to work. So let's look at how we could implement the notifications here. All right, let's go in and add uh, content to an array here. And let's start out with when we are saving the article just because that's easier. So in here, we should just be able to have a save function. And for this, we should just be able to say, should be redirected. Um, we should be able to say notification, make article saved, body. Let's go ahead and make sure we also add this onto new lines. We don't need the success part in here. We need to send and we need to send to database. Just like that. And I think we also need to specify the user here. So we can just go ahead and say the authenticated user. And 
and for in here we can just leave the return argument for now. So let's go ahead and just try to save this. See if this got into the database. So this is still not going through. So let's see if we can fix that. I don't think we need anything in here actually. So let's just go ahead and make sure we have a title. So we get the notification up here, but it doesn't go into the database yet. So let's see if we can fix that. So depending on if you use Horizon or just don't use any queue manager, we need to have queues running. So I've set this to be success as well. And we can just send this to should say, send safe notifications. If we go ahead and click now, you can then see if we go into articles here, that this has now gone through, which is perfect. So the other thing we want to go ahead and do in here is inside our admin panel provider, we should be able to allow searchable. So let's make this uh, searchable, but we want to use the filament plugin for this specifically. So let's head into the home page here and let's find the spotlight search plugin. And we're just going to use the free version of this. All right, and then let's publish the assets. Make sure we register the plugin down here. So we need to say Spotlight in this case. And we want to import Spotlight plugin specifically. And then you can use Command K. So we should just be able to actually head in now here. And then you can see we have this Spotlight here. And it will be Control K for Windows users. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. Please hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.